Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Enjoy the Show. Enjoy the show. It's your girl, Aja. And it's your boy, Kevoski. <laughs> I like your rendition. I like the opening number. Yeah. Yeah. I welcome back to another episode, Kev. Had to hit a had to hit a few notes. Uh huh. You know. Who would you compare your vocal range to? Shit. The singer. Who you think you up there with? Whitney Houston in her prime. Next question. I hope y'all could hear my eyes widen if you're listening to this and not watching. That was an egregious comparison. Whitney, was it though? Whitney Houston. In her prime, though. That's what I'm saying. Not normal, regular, regular <laughs> That's Whitney. What I'm, I'm talking about. I'm Whitney in her prime. And. Bodyguard Whitney. I didn't stretch my voice before we started this. I don't think that has nothing to do with the fact that you don't sing like. Next conversation. <laughs> How about we start get started on this podcast? What What about this podcast is like to get started on? Well, I think the topic at hand. Ooh, we what are we talking about today? A black culture phenom trilogy mm. of movies. It is a trilogy. Three of them. Three, Three bangers. Of them. Three back to back to back to back to bangers, bangers. It's like the Bang Lakers, up. like the Lakers went in the finals three times. You don't know nothing about that. I don't. I'm a Phoenix Suns fan. Don't <laughs> say that again on this podcast. That's disgusting. I'm a Chris Paul fan. You. You're from anyway. Kev, Friday is one of the greatest movies of all time. Arguably, greatest. I'm saying greatest trilogy. I know the Matrix exists, and I know it's about three, four Star Wars and a couple other. Three movies here and there. There's a lot of three movie trilogies, quadologies, ooh, all of that. Ooh, but I'm 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 the biggest fan of this franchise. It's we only have so many black franchises to begin with, so the fact that Ice Cube can throw some comedy in there, I'm 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 rocking with that. Yeah, I'm I'm rocking with that. And so. the fact that Ice Cube really looks like a nigga named Craig, ooh, we <laughs> honestly sets. All of the tone for all of the movies, cause that that name just fits. And then he's boy, a Craig. Yeah, and then Mike Epps being Day Day. Perfect. Just, no fits. real name. <laughs> no real name. No at real all. name. Nigga, your name is Day Day. Day Day Jones. We don't know what Day Day stands for. David, if it's Elroy Junior, we don't know. We have no idea. But how would Elroy Junior mean Day Day? That's what I'm saying. No. We don't. We we don't know. Facts. So I have a controversial question for you. Okay, what's the question? What's the greatest Friday movie of all time? You can only pick one. You can only pick the greatest. It's the funniest. You gonna laugh. You gonna smoke. Let me tell you what, you, what you what you picking? <clears throat> Holy moly donut shop. What? Holy moly donut shop. Yeah, donut I'm gonna go three. with Fro- Friday after next. It's the funniest. It has the most plot. <laughs> Every character is funny. Yes. What they going through is is peak comedy. Yes. Motherfucking black Santa Claus then ruined <laughs> our 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 apartment. Now we got to get the money. We got to pay rent. We gonna have a party. That's what they say. That's not a party. We gonna have it's a, a party. Rent party. Yeah. When the police showed up and when he robbed when he robbed. I guess the the plaza and the police showed up and was like department Santa it was a black guy huh and then it was like nah it was a nigga who did this that's <laughs> when I <laughs> that's when I knew Friday after next was up there I was like oh oh they took it there I, Friday after next I'm gonna say it's the funniest but if I had to pick my favorite I'm going next Friday I don't know why I'm going next Friday but it's something about being introduced to Mike Epps. Uh, in that role, yeah. that was his first time. We got to see him shine. And he, when I say shine, I mean shine, bro. Like shine. Every scene he was in, he came to the table like, "Look, y'all gonna remember Day Day?" And he had some big shoes to fill. Following after Smokey was not easy. Not at all. It's, that's, it, that's hard being a number two to that. It's like 
Damn, everybody loves Smokey. Love Smokey. Even if you didn't love Smokey, you thought Smokey was hilarious. You thought Smokey was one of the funniest people in the world. Yeah, you can recite Smokey stuff to this what? day. Damn! You didn't put in on this man. Hey, Miss Parker. Miss Parker find that a motherfucker. She just don't know. All right, man. That shit. Shit. I got mind control over Debo. <laughs> when he walk away. I'll be quiet. And then he's Will like, he leave? Yeah. I'll be talking again. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a hard feat. Uh, Mike Epps, he, he killed it from the first time we got introduced to him. He had the stocking cap on. He came out like, niggas still dressed like this. Stocking yeah. cap on the head, do-rag, flip-flop sandals. Talking about baby D and baby mama. D. Baby mama drama and Rancho Cucamonga. Crazy. The suburbs. Came Cra- and him, man. Car. Crazy activity. Man. Y'all y- 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 don't got to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> I live here, y'all don't. That's what I'm saying. Like it's funny because it's like Craig would just drop a lot of shit on Day Day, and Day Day would have to just keep going. He, no, I'm I'm Day Day big cousin. <laughs> Craig, when he had to get on top of the car and beat the dog, when Craig, you Uncle Willie's son, you Uncle Willie's son, when he beating the dog and Day Day just had to go to work. Watch out, man! Look at my roof. Look at my roof. Look at my roof. He was pissed. I'm going, yeah, I'm going next Friday. Yeah. First of all, we can't forget the classic. I got to get this money by tomorrow. Huh? Huh? I got to get this money by tomorrow. Nah, I think that I think that's funny because him and Pinky, Craig and Pinky fighting out in the shop. Man, what? You better not spell it. You almost spilled his yak on his $200 suit. Come on, man. Stop hitting them corners. Yeah. We get to yeah, we get to use the legendary character. I'ma dress up as Day Day when he had the pinky sh- <laughs> you, you almost got it on my pinky shirt. I was just finna get a promotion. I I'm dressing up like that probably. Yeah, like, those yeah. three movies is honestly amazing. That's what you I don't know what we yeah. do without that. We went in yeah. comedy, black we, comedy. Next Friday and Friday after the next are listed as comedy slash stoner. And when you look at it It was the most smoked out. They they smoked out. Craig, they in the back of Pinky Shop blowing down. They get they got the white boy with them. They cooling at work. At work, vacuum thing. They smoking up the air. I don't think that works. <laughs> I don't think that works. I'm right. I mean, them three three heavy hitters. I think Friday after next the most smoked out. It's cool to see even Craig's evolution as a stoner from he, not. He smoking. actually becomes a stoner. Hey, look, I drink. Smokey was like, nah. And then you open the second movie. He rolling up in the bathroom before he goes see his cousin. And yeah. then third movie, they got a whole weed tree in the house. And they get it confiscated. And 12 in the car smoking what they picked up. <laughs> That's crazy. That's the way it goes. Woo! I'm glad that we have Ice Cube to be Craig as our protagonist. Oh, for sure. We get the roof for his uphill. All his uphill Journey. battles that he has to go through. He goes through some shit every movie. He don't get a break. He don't. He, and he's saving the day. Yeah. At, wow. He is the hero. Every single time. Yeah. Every. He whooped Debo. Because the story wasn't even about Debo and Craig, to be honest. It was about Literally. Smokey and Big Worm. Literally. And then we get to Craig and Debo. He whooped his ass, saved the neighborhood. Debo go to jail. He get near long at the end. Whoops the neighborhood bully ass. Gets the neighborhood baggy. <laughs> All of that just to have to move away. So Rancho Cucamonga. Cause he gets I mean, but at that time Debbie ain't even in the neighborhood no more. We ain't see Debbie in next Friday. Facts. <laughs> Rightfully so. so. <laughs> I guess I would have left too, shit. Gotta find somebody else. Yeah, facts. No, I'm 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 rocking with it. So if you had to pick your favorite character in the entire Friday franchise, you can go Uncle Elroy, you can go Auntie Cookie, you can go go Little Dog, Chico, you can go anybody. Who you picking? Who your favorite character? Friday franchise. I'd have to say. Or favorite two, because it's a lot. It's a lot of. No, it's not. You go one. I'm going one. I'm going Day Day. <laughs> I'm going Day Day for sure. Because, no questions asked. Cause don't get me wrong, he was funny. No. In next Friday, but in Friday after next, he was hilarious. You know, he, you give a nigga a little bit of power. Man, like, what? Man, he what? A whole different nigga, bro. Man, and he showed his. Ass. Man, get this piece of shit out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady yes. singing outside it. Well, give me the number. Or you got to go. Hey, look, I'm married. 
Well, get this piece of shit out of here. <laughs> like, come on, man. I know what y'all trying to do. Y'all trying to use this cone. Y'all trying to use Jesus to sell pussy on this cone. <laughs> and then it's funny because that's a foreshadow moment because then it's her kids that come back looking for Craig. Man, and, they, they, and then they beat up the sand and they, it's just it's Who a goes lie. to somebody's grandma and say something like that? Crazy. He ain't got, man, he's stupid. <laughs> Little cousin coming out here showing his ass. They they see Cat Williams, his whole eyes, but he's like, Yeah, like he met his. I met my idol. idol. <laughs> <laughs> this little ass pimp is his idol. Ah! Can we get half off some Fubu short set? Some da da something. Sick man. What about you? Sick man. What about you? Favorite? Who's your favorite character? Day Day Jones is a treasure. And I I ain't even just trying to agree, but Mike Evans really. Really like that, that literally. It really made you forget about Smokey completely. He he stands on his own. You in this by the time you get the next Friday, you're looking like mm-hmm. Smokey. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck mm-hmm. is Smokey? Oh, mm-hmm. all three movies are so different though. Yeah, it's different times in the world. Different ninety five, two thousand, and two thousand three are three different. Because in the first Friday, they actually fighting for their life. Like they getting shot at. Yeah. And then Craig is actually Oops. tripping off the gas. He in their house tweaking. Hey yo, when he's sitting down with Nia, and and Nia come in the house and he high as can be, and the dog bark and he's like, it's a whistle. And he's like, what the fuck? That's nah. my favorite high moment in the whole first film. When he in the cabinet looking around, he opened up in this big worm, bro. I was like, no way. Bro, like, what a way to show like hallucination yeah. of marijuana. And it's it's comedic with it too. All the sounds, all the imagery, like them dogs with the droopy faces. You you i I've seen if you ain't seen them they're not ceramic it might be ceramic. Ceramic dogs with the long ears. Them really being folks' houses like that's that's a, that's a that's another good one. I'm going I'm going Day Day Jones. Craig is Craig funny on the low because he's not supposed to be funny. Craig Jones is not set up to be a funny. Craig guy. not supposed to be funny at all. He has funny moments. He don't try to be. No. It's just the way his life happens. Yeah. Makes it funny. The fact that he the only nigga fighting the Santa Claus up early in the morning. <laughs> like, day that you really sleep, bro. Making a big ass sandwich and shit. Daddy, do that. Help me. I be crying, bro. Like, yeah. Ice Cube, take it there. He got a he got a comedic side. Yeah. He can pull the comedy off. When Uncle Elroy pretended to be on um, the reindeer and he bites the little kid because the little kid kicked him in his nuts. Yes, he should. Man. And then whipped his ass with the belt. Yeah. That's what I'm rocking with too. Mm-mm. Take so good, nigga. Slap your mama. And he actually slapped his mama. Gave her PTSD. On the commercial. On the commercial. Only one location, so as near as you. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can call every part of all three of them films. Yeah. Ice Cube's a legend for sure. They couldn't come out with a number four. That'd have been cheese. Friday next week. What else could you do? They were going to. I don't think it's ever going to. It's, it's never going to happen. Dying. What? That got dark. What? Why would, he, why would Craig of all people be the one to die? If they did another Friday, they would have to just smoke him. No. If everybody in the Friday cast was alive, and they could actually do the last one. <laughs> They'll kill out Debo. They'll, like, drown him in a lake or something. It would have to... <coughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. They would have had to have dropped that movie in like 05. Like, it would have had to be early 2000s still. Oh, yeah. Like you can't drop up. it. Anything after 08. It, nah, not a Friday. Like 08 would have been kind of nasty. 08 would have been the last good year. After Next came out 2002. They oh, were, wow. That was 02. Oh, man. No, nah, they couldn't have waited. 05, probably the latest. Yeah. The latest, because it was still it it oh, 2005 and 2002 look alike a little bit. Yeah, you can still keep it in that same realm. Oh six, we there in oh eight. We started a whole new era. Yeah, niggas broke bag baggy dinner at that point. Facts in tall tees. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that day in a XXL tall tee. That's what he would have been wearing if he was going with the fashions of the day. Oh yeah, now his fashion would have been was off. sick. It would have been sick. He would have been dressed like Mike Epps and Roscoe Jenkins. Wow. With the hat, the money sign Jesus. hat, and the big graphic diamond studded rainbow t shirt. It would have been it would have been shitty. I mean, it was a good three run. Yeah. Sometimes when shit good, you don't gotta keep doing it. 
No bad. Let them fester in them three we got. Well, one of my favorite parts of this movie is how well they just tie in the cannabis with their characters in which that is a part of the whole movie. It's so seamless. Yeah, it's so seamless. Like, wow. It's like, we smoke weed, but I'm doing it in every scene that it doesn't seem like such a big deal. Literally. It's and like just, drinking water. And then they, the plot... They're trying to get something by the end of the day. It's like yes, this whole day. Yes. Is, this day is long as hell. Yes. This one day we're living is is long as hell. And you're going to get what happens piece by piece. I need to get $200. Friday. I need to get rent money. These niggas is working as the security guards. This is how I'm old. Fuck, we're going to smoke right here in the back alley. Like, what? All right, come on, man. Y'all what? get it together, bro. They nah. just... No, no, no. That's the that's 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 the way of the world. That's how it goes. These niggas. What happened to the last security guards? We, we don't even know what happened to the last security guards. How the fuck I was supposed to hear? They funny. Classic. The first, second, and the third. Smokey, t- give me something outside to roll this up with. Like Smokey smoking from the time he get on camera. Smokey up the first one when he get on that angel dust. This is the first week. <laughs> And this is then, man. I'm like, fuck Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, dude. Man was out there smoking with the Mexicans. Ain't the Bro, going on. in the back. He he thought he had the iron lungs to really stand up to who he was as a smoker. It's Angel Dust Dolls. No, it's the old good. It's the. <laughs> they just laughing. Angel at Dust, bro. You that ain't the- even like no. That wasn't no Za. That wasn't no Za Extreme. That's, I am dead. You funny. That's Spice, my nigga. <laughs> Angel does my head and on Spice. No, this is a great three run movie, man. This is, like I said, this like I said on one of the other shows, uh, episodes, this is something I'm going to display at my family. Oh, for sure. Events. I mean, this Friday is- After Next is a, is a Christmas movie. That's getting played the same night as this Christmas. I was going to say, that's, that's in the range. For sure. We're going to get ratchet and we're going to get a little holy, a little sanctified. We'll probably watch like this Christmas in the morning. Yeah. Friday after next at night. All the grown folk. No, I, I, kids I out. I'm going to say, you want to watch the kids? Hell yeah. You would or wouldn't? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say. Yeah, the babies can watch Friday it's after next. Man. It's really Ice Cube will get out there. Tell them, man, you know, Ice Cube will go, man. You know, good little role model in this movie. I like he, that he ended it at Christmas. Like, uh, next Friday, you know, no, nah. that's not a family movie. I'm trying to figure out what's the, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I was like, what's the worst part of next Friday? Absolutely not. His freaky ass auntie. Freaky, freak ass. Goddamn. We can keep it all in the family. What? Yeah. We and, doing what? And then they little, they, they room upstairs. Nah, man. That, Dungeon. That Cheetah ain't for sheets. no kids. Uh, yeah. Cheetah, Cheetah sheets, sheets is all you need to know, man. In any movie, facet of anything, magazine. Cheetah, cheetah print sheets, cheetah print sheets, man, they freaky, 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 Fre- and that's the best word, freak, freak nasty. Uncle Elroy was a freak man, mm. crazy. Once he got that money and he realized he can just once lay he up, got that money, his his life changed. Oh my goodness, he can he could buy it, buy it. He had the source to the next movie. Yeah, that was freaky man. Cookie. <laughs> I had to let go of her and give her a young sister. Uh, that nigga's like, yeah. like Errol, you ain't no player. Read my lips. Yeah. You ain't no player. <laughs> you don't get no booty. I whips booty. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I smacked the shit out of him, as she should. Friday is just one of those classics, like, you can sit there, you can recite. You can bring it up at any moment. Everybody know exactly what you're talking. In every every inch of the movie. Damn. <laughs> I, had a dr- I had a nightmare about that fool last night. That nigga Damon was in his mama crib dancing to Tupac. In his drawers. Rubbing, he was rubbing his body to Tupac. Hey man, he, he kept getting lower on that couch. He said, it, that is insane. Tupac, you sexy thug mother. I said, boy. What? Grown man laid up on his laid up on his mama couch, broad daylight. One of my favorite parts is when the Up Santa the Claus <laughs> Santa Claus is at his trap. He got the gifts and he pull out Day Day's jersey. He goes, Dada. Oh, he's one of them now. And he pulls the bitch off, oh, bro. Man. And it's so funny because it's just like he's shitting on Day Day. Without Day Day even being here. And hey. then yeah, yeah. And then they, they whoop his ass. 
and they pull it off with him, the tree and they tie him up put him up on the roof well and then ice cream like well let's just say he's still up there some shit like that this is a big screen yeah I love when black movies end with like a voiceover and you see yeah they, they, they still walking out the camera ice yes. cream giving us that voiceover like it was another Friday in the hood you know some so bullshit. I went back to my house slid the dress in front of the door and got me a early Christmas present yeah you know yeah. easy fade to the end yeah I was about to say too when uh First of all, you know that was Ricky Smiley who played the the Santa the Santa Claus the skinny yeah. Santa Claus. Yeah, he put the he when he put the hoodie out, he was like extra medium. <laughs> Gotta have some for the little niggas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> niggas was like an extra medium back in the day days, boy. So if there's one character in Friday, the whole series that you wish you could have seen more of, or maybe they did one movie that you wanted to do too, who would you pick? Mm, that's actually a great question. Bring on over. Okay, hear me out. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Friday after next. Mm-hmm. What if they would have brought Smokey to the party? He would have pulled up like crazy. Put it with the giz ass. What? It would have smoked him out. That would have been awesome. F- fucking Smokey pull up. Craig like, Smoke, what you do in L.A.? He's like, man, I made it over him. I can't see you. <sighs> they go to the back room, come back out. Yeah, None so but gas out the door coming out. Smoke cloud. They lit. Everybody lit. Smokey would have helped them with the Damon's still in the back fucking with Money Mike. Money yeah. Mike get the screaming. Like, that would have been a cold. I am my boy. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Smoke Jones. Yikes. Yeah. Look fresh. And what about you? What character would you like have given more starlight or put him in the next movie? Which uh, you? Craig's sister, of course. What? Dana. Yeah, we gotta bring Dana back. Dana no miss. First of all, they didn't had a mom in the second movie. Had the mom in the third movie. So it's like if you're gonna bring the fam back together, it would be cool. And then to see Dana and Day Day interact. Big yeah. cousin, little cousin, like you know how Face he's smart ass. and she and he just goofy and they just they be a good tandem. Yeah, I would love to see Dana and Day Day. Okay, Dana and Day Day, that's what I'm rocking with. That would be nice. That would mm-hmm. been a good dynamic, right? Family. We getting the family back together. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm rocking with. Uh, I also like to say, I think at the end of Friday, sending Day Day to rehab was uh, not Day Day. I'm sorry, sending Smokey to rehab was a little egregious. Oh, uh, rehab, rehab. Holy moly, donut shop. What? 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 Oh, we. Sending sending Smokey to rehab was egregious, to say the least. My boy ain't need to do that, and then just leave him there. And you know this man? They don't give him no. He just a rehab. No. <laughs> No That's welcome it. letter. No hey, 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 Smokey, how you doing? Keep your heads up, good spirits. But nothing. Craig just forgets about him. It moves on to his cousin. No, well, he thought about him in the second one. A little bit in his voiceover, he was like, "Man, I ain't seen my homeboy Smokey in about six weeks, something like that." He he brought him up. Third one, but by the time the second one came out, Mike Epps had. You know, like people want to see Mike Epps at that. Sub OG triple OG. OG triple, triple triple. Yeah, y'all grown up now though. When he got him in between, eight, he was like, "Get your titty off my chin." To see Ice Cube be like in that, like the fact that Terry Crews could choke get, Ice Cube. To get, yeah, to get little boy by Terry Crews is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> he held his own. Just tell him you can come to me. Uh, just tell him come into Taco Stand at five five five. Four two six seven. I got some hot sauce with my burrito, baby. <laughs> and it was driving through traffic, bubble guts. Black people, stop eating dairy. Let me. Can I? Can I do my fake vegan monologue right. real quick? Go ahead. Dude. Cause he he was blowing the bathroom up. But that was because of the hot sauce. That wasn't because of dairy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You see? I'm it? just saying. He had a burrito. Ain't no cheese in a burrito. Okay, but I don't think it was. I think it was lactose. It was lactose in that. I've been ready to tell people to stop eating dairy at a job for now. I'm sorry. Forgive me. John Wispin was the man. I don't know any other actor that would have slipped in shit and like played it so comedically in the second one. He was like, hey, "Where are you going to now?" I honestly don't think I could. I know any actor that could have played John Witherspoon in any of the movies. <laughs> 
No, I'm serious too. Like <laughs> you're not wrong. You can't put no Steve Harvey there, no, no Morgan Freeman, no. no Samuel Jackson. You can't put nobody no. there and do what he did. No, because he's serious. Because it's about this, Craig. Kay. Craig. Craig. You can't do that, man. <laughs> nah, man. When I sit there and I think about it, nah, man. It had to be him. You can, I can't imagine nobody playing him in any role he's ever played. I used to think John Witherspoon was like really like that. Like I didn't think he was reading a script. If I see him in the Wayans Brothers, if I seen him in Friday, I used to think, oh no, this man really is like this. Like this is really how he walk, talk, act, feel. Because they all had a connection. Like they were all the same in some type of way. He was tacky dressing or yeah. fidgety. You know what I'm saying? Like he had these elements that was like, oh, this is pop. And he played pops in like. That was his character's name and a lot of stuff he did. Pops, by OG, Granddad, Grandpa, like... Yeah, that's him. John Wilson held his own. Rest in peace, Black Legend. And rest in peace, for real. And uh, I think Cat Williams could have been more intertwined in the casting. Bingo? Yeah, he had a great role. You know, he had a great... All he, together he played him. 25 minutes of screen time, but I would have gave him an extra 15. I think that the good thing that Ice Cube does... He works so well with comedians. Yeah. It's comedians. Uh, damn near in everything he does, but of course in the Friday series. It's because Ice Cube, his goal don't be to make the jokes. No, he don't care about being funny. You're supposed to fuel the jokes for the comedian yes. because he come on with that serious vibe. He be like... He's a straight man. He like the meme mug. Uh, mm-hmm. He don't like to make jokes. Like he gonna laugh at the joke. He gonna do something funny. Yeah. But he's not making jokes. <laughs> no. That's why him and Day Day connect. Cause Day Day making a joke or Day Day will start like dancing and Ice Cube just be looking at me and going like, I hate this nigga. He's having too much fun. But in the meantime, Ice Cube won't have fun too. So on, like, on the low, like when yeah. Day Day show his ass, Ice Cube like it just a little bit. Yeah. Sit down. Hit this. Hey, we are not looking no more. And don't touch nothing. <laughs> I like he be fake punking him because yeah. he knows his cousin from the show's ass. And then they be like, you don't stop talking to me like we still live. When we I'm, get 40, you ain't going to be punking me no more. <laughs> I used to be like, no, nah, I'm still going to be punking that shit. No, yeah, no. Ain't, ain't shit changed. That's great. That's, nah. a, that's a great cousin relationship right there. Like they, That's what I love, You would man. think them niggas cousins in real life. In real life. life they yeah. work together that well. Even seeing them all about the Benjamins, like, they not even related, but it's like they've known each other for forever. Every time a nigga think of Ice Cube, I just think it's straight out of Compton. So, like, anytime, he in, anytime I watch him in something like this where mm-hmm. he's laughing and smiling, it'd be like, yeah. Bro, he was so serious in that. Well, it was his son, obviously. But you know what I'm saying. Like the his last name is Cube. Cold as ice. Cube. That's like he's solid. Like Shut up. <laughs> I, I don't know the meaning behind the stage name. I'm saying the, the work is great. Shout out to John Singleton. Because, you know, of course, Ice Cube's first role was Boys in the Hood. Right. But John Singleton told him, he was like, look, if you can write all these albums, if you can write all these rhymes, you can write a movie script. Ice no Cube bad. was like, uh, no, I can't. What you mean? Yeah. Movies and music are two different things. John's like, no, nah, you can write it. So he got with DJ Pooh, who played Red. My grandmama gave me that chain. Man. And I really got a chain my grandma gave me, and I wear it damn near every day. My grandma really did give me this chain. Red whole ass, man. He should have killed Debo. <laughs> he going to cry in the court. You talking about <laughs> Wait, <let me> turn <laughs> if it was me, I would have helped y'all. <laughs> man, what about the child smoke try to jump me in smoke backyard? Oh, see, now that was different. <laughs> like, they take something so simple like that, and that's like a it, it lives funny. forever. Yeah. Yes, it's like it's simple. Are you ran from the fight, you punk ass boy. What you talking about? It's real simple comedic value. Like, yes. they're not even trying, but it's still like enough. It's a like normal you. conversation, really. 85% of the script be normal. Like, it be... That's what I'm saying. Them be the elements. Yeah. Like, you can't even write that. You yeah. gotta, like, feel that in the moment of the scene. I'm pretty sure Mike Epps did that on his own. Yeah. Yeah. Day Day does a dance. Mike Epps was like, look, it's too quiet. We need to, yeah, <laughs> we need to spice this up. Yeah. Yeah, hey, nah. I was trying to see what could that be like. I ain't never had that happen. Never, never ever, ever. Man. <laughs> like, no. that's man, you can still quote them to this day. I, I was going that in middle school. And then, out of all of these movies, which one do you think is the funniest, though? Like, crying, laughing? Like, <laughs> funny. Number three. 
<laughs> Number three, taking it there, bro. Him cussing out them old ladies. Him cussing out everybody that comes in contact. Day day cussing out everybody that come in contact with him. The barbecue commercial. Miss Pearly. We ain't even talking about Miss oh, Pearly. Miss Pearly. Miss Pearly. You kidding me? Tell your fine daddy I sent. <laughs> Oh, I hate that bitch. Listen to the dawn, shorty. I'm rocking with Miss. I'm not rocking with Miss Pirelli, but her comedic value is there. She is funny. They gon' they you're not supposed to me. like her, but she's still funny. Ooh, I found me some weed in the dawn. That's why they ain't paid their rent this month. <laughs> you think that little four grams of weed you found in that drawer is the reason they ain't pay rent? Four dollars worth of gas is why they ain't pay. rent used to be eight hundred back in the day for a two bedroom. <laughs> bring that rim back, baby. Have to bring that rim back. That's fault. You don't even need a roommate. <laughs> you ain't nothing. That's a whole new setup in there. Oh man. Bring back 2002 rent. We need it. But that next Friday was funny though, because they actually had a plot. Yeah. It actually had some like. They looking like hmm. We got an issue. Where does money come from? Or. Get this, you know how bro. crazy it is to rob your drug dealing neighbors though? Like that ain't just like no easy shit to do. Like, <laughs> like like nah, homie, come on with that job and everything. And the way he carry it in the house in broad daylight is so like No luck boys. And that's this. And you're making me you're making me so, so, and you're making me think a lot, see. He was hot. It was a lot. That was that was a great one. And then I love the introduction of the white boy. What's his name again? Ooh, Ro- hey, this is my this is my slave roach, my white slave roach. roach. <laughs> Bro, you gotta catch Mike Epps. I feel like they ain't right there in the script. My white slave roach. Are you kidding me? That was all off the dome for Mike Epps. And I, I that y'all need to release the Friday after next script. I'm trying to read it. I want to see what y'all was thinking about yeah. these characters. <laughs> like. This shit is made up. This shit is unreal. Nah, baby D chasing day day after Around the car. Stuff. Oh my god, bro. Ooh, you can get to it quicker. Without the rapper, just like commissary. <laughs> <laughs> he slid down the BMW. She fucked his car up. Yeah. And his little sister. That's great. I, that's why I love baby uh not baby D Day Day. Day Day, he has some shit. Your baby mama drama. Come on now. I meant do one about three months ago. You, about three five days you ago. Arguably the funniest character. Mm-hmm. And you got baby mama drama. So, I mean, that does it nothing did. but... It, yeah, it that's did. it. Because now you over there like... You don't take nothing serious. Ooh, we. <laughs> so, you know I'm not going to take you serious. No, sir. To be the mother of my child. What? His whole life is a... It's not a whole life, not a joke. He a jokey-ass nigga. Like, yeah. If his daddy went to one lottery... He would he would have been somewhat shit out of luck. He would have been a plumber or some mm-hmm. shit. He's not that smart to be a plumber. Yeah. Daddy would have been on the corner somewhere being goofy and break dancing. He Wearing that do rag in them baggy and one shorts. Ooh, they wore some and ones. Oh, yeah. There were some jail slippers, too. They weren't even like no Adidas or no, nothing, no slip ons. It was straight in the out the beater. Jail, literally. Yeah. Gray wife beater. Just that hey, Gray, uh, yeah, gray tank top. Yeah. Egregious. <laughs> <laughs> no. He wore the white beater to work, a silver chain. Thankful for Friday. I feel like we needed that as people. I don't know where we'd be without a movie that's so culturally relevant. And they smoking weed. You got to understand, smoking weed in a movie in the 90s and you still doing it early 2000s. Everybody wants smoking weed. Anytime you see somebody smoking in a movie, it's usually a cigarette. Yeah. And it was a devil's lettuce. Yeah. So you're making weed look kind of cool. Yeah, they hated marijuana in the 90s. They really thought you was on that shit. That reefer? Yeah, the reefer. Reefer. Boy, your people think it's the worst thing to happen God on damn, earth. Uh, fucking devil's lettuce. But y'all drink. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the movie. Okay. This series of movie was was great. I think it's the Michael best. Blackson was also in next Friday. The introduction. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We met so many young actors. Like Bernie Mac was still new when yeah. he dropped. Chris Chris Tucker, of course. Freaking John Witherspoon already in there. Elroy, he did stand up. Uncle Elroy did stand up. Like these are comedic people. He got people who had the improvisation skills. Yeah, he got people that are actually funny. Yeah. Without like the script okay, we just need to this is what the theme of this scene is. Y'all add y'all little extra stuff in between and we can get these takes and we're gonna get out of here. 
But it's a it's a classic nonetheless. I can't I can't name a better comedic run, comedic series than Friday. It's Friday, end of day of the week, twenty four seven. 34 8, like Friday is getting watched 10 out of 10 every single time. And I like how Mike Epson and Ice Cube just went on outside of Friday and just said, We work well with each other, let's collab. Like, let's do All About the Benjamins, let's do Janky Promoters, let's do you know what I'm saying? Like, they gonna give us that cousin. Bond, they do actually time. think that they kind of relate. Related, like, yeah. You would think they people for real. I think that's like it. I think Ice Cube has even said like his favorite person to work with is Mike Gibbs, and I can see that. And I can see him saying that, and yeah. I can see that being you know yeah. First of all, can we just? It's hard for me not to bring up this woman every show because she's in everything. Oh, good job, nigga. She said she looked like Janet Jackson. Man. What? Yeah, and when she showed up and they looked like Janet Jackson. But you gotta understand that I mean Janet Jackson was such a pop star at the time. We could just Yo, that's like her fourth episode bringing up Janet Jackson. She's in every damn near every movie we've mentioned. We brought up Ice Cube every episode too. And damn near Will Smith. Culture pieces, man. That's what I'm saying. You major. <laughs> she said damn near Will Smith. I mean, <laughs> I mean, sometimes you can't just they hey their work speaks for themselves. I was gonna say man. if you're gonna put out some hits. If you're gonna be a hit maker We're gonna talk stand about stand on hits. it. Stand but, um, on it. I guess I got something for the rest of today. Mm. Um hopefully I was just not expecting this versus but it's here. Okay. And we're with it. Today we have two characters who are also in this trilogy. Jesus. Mike Epps versus Chris Tucker. Yeah, yo. Movies? Yeah, yo. They were both in this trilogy. And that's it. Because Chris Tucker only did a handful of movies. He did Friday, Rush Hour. He did... Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, it's four, ain't it? There's a lot of Rush Hours. Ooh, it's four. There's a lot of Rush Hours. He did Rush Hour... He was in um, Dead Presidents with Lorenz Tate. He was with a, oh, Money Talks. Mm. Chris Tucker got some bangers. Mike Epps got some bangers. Mike Epps was in Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. But that movie was amazing. <laughs> he was in Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. You know who uh, directed Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins? Who? Malcolm D. Lee, who made The Best Man. What? Yeah. Two extremes, bro. Two completely different... Films, but he oh, and he did Girls Trip. Mike Lee, no oh. boy, Malcolm D. Lee, oh, the Malcolm director. D. Lee, he's Spike Lee's cousin. Oh, I thought she said Michael, Michael E. Lee was not in. Ain't <laughs> Sorry. No he was not in any of the movies. Chris Tucker or Mike Epps? Yeah, what we gonna say, my choice? Yeah, I'm waiting on it. I'm going with Mike Epps. Oh, no, Rascal Jenkins. That's all you need. I love me a good southern. <laughs> Southern family. family movie. Yeah, it gets me every time. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm going with my probably after next. Welcome to Rascal Jenkins. All about the Benjamins. That's just off the top of my dome. And you know he being obscure shit too. You just turn on the movie. Mike Epps be in it. Yeah. Like and now it's one of your favorites. He was in um. Roll bounce. I was just saying he was in Roll Bounce. Oh, no, I was saying that's a that's a hit in itself. Yeah. I'm going Mike Epps. Niggas love Roll Bounce. I what? think I might actually take Mike Epps too. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Chris Tucker did a lot. Yeah. The Rush Hour. Rush Hour series, but. Talk about a franchise. He funny though. Yeah. That whole peak of comedy. Yeah. Like, Don't get it twisted. Niggas. Don't get it twisted now. You're going to have a ball listening to either or. Yeah. But I'm definitely, I'm, I'm going Mike Epps. When you said Roll Bounce, it's like he got, he was a girl shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike Evans, MC. Mike Epps is, is, is comedy. Oh my goodness, he was in this show called Survivor's Remorse. It's so funny, one of the funniest TV shows of all time. Mike, yeah. and he plays an uncle, so you know when he gets to be in his uncle bag, he ooh funny we. <laughs> Mike Epps in that uncle bag, he gonna play a a nigga smoking weed, a nigga with some wisdom, a nigga, a nigga that's with ghetto, some and funny. And then for our. Female versus. Mm-hmm. 
I have Vivica A. Fox versus Gabrielle Union. We got quiet. <laughs> oh, there's some credits. Set it off. Two can play that game. Kill Bill went into. Kill Bill one and two. Independence Day as well. She was an Independence Day. She was in Booty Call. And Joanna Man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't want to. That's what I'm saying. Just like Mike Epps, she got some hits too where it's like you can't leave it off because if you leave it off, you're going to be missing some some real good ones. Mm. Gabrielle Union, though. Okay, we got Gabrielle Union. She was in Bring It On. Culture classic to this day. Gabrielle Union was in Daddy's Girls. Oh, man. Bad Boys 2. <laughs> Cheaper by the dozen. I don't know if you've seen that. No, that's not the newest she one. She was in Deliver Us from Eva. She's the main character. Wow. She was a thing like a man. She was in Almost Christmas. Also in Girl Strip. Oh, man. Get ready. Oh, man. Off the movies that we just said. I got my answer. I know who you're picking. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. And she was in Cradle to the Grave, too. What's Cradle to the Grave? Cradle to the Grave. Oh, man. That's movie DMX. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, man. Sheesh. She was in Love and Basketball. She was Shawnee Easton. Now that I said that, but Vivica got set it off. I can only pick one. She was she was two two can play that game. All right, before, ladies. Before answers are decided, who do you think I'm gonna select? I feel like you're gonna select Vivica because of Kill Bill, and I feel like I'm right. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already, yeah, kind of. I right. mean, after seeing her in that. And realizing that she's playing an assassin, a she killer, can do it all. A real killer. Gabrielle Union can't do that. I mean, her closest thing. She was popping bad. that gun in Bad Boys too. And then she gets kidnapped. Vivica died and killed Bill. Don't get me wrong, but at least that's even worse. At least Gabrielle can fight for her life. She alive to, to kill Bill. Went against. I mean, Vivica went against a woman that that killed her. I mean, that she essentially killed, and then damn near came back to life to whoop that ass, and then. <laughs> <laughs> she killed Vivica Fox in front of Vivica Fox's daughter, which was that's hard. Cold. That's cold. That's and she cold. looked at her daughter was like, "You suck." Why would she you ask she that? looked up. She was like, "Will you grow up?" Yeah. And if you still feel some type of way, she said, "Come find me about it." The girl, the little girl, for like seven. That's what I'm saying. Come fight you, man. She had <laughs> the opportunity too. <laughs> and she just stepped on her mama in the kitchen. Oh my goodness! Some cold shit. And Gabrielle did have a a cameo. T- she was in the Brothers. You fucking suck. I hate this question. Just like I hate the all the other questions. Gabrielle Union or Vivica A. Fox? I'm gonna go Gabrielle Union because at least that way I can still watch Two Can Play That Game. So and I can get Vivica into Two. Two Can Play That Game, ladies. You tired of getting played by these men? You know, I I don't. Y'all y'all get played. If you were tired of getting played and not knowing what's going on and you don't got your foot down on the situation, you need a little bit of yeah. Watch two can play that game and learn how to play that main. Face ass. That's how I'm feeling. You coaching them, huh? Yeah. Coach P. It's summertime, y'all. What Coach P is mean? checking in, huh? Coach P been in. What you trying to say, man? Look, y'all don't gotta Nah, they they got enough game. Come get yours. Two can play that game. Watch it. It's so cold because she get exactly what she want and he do exactly what she say. Whole movie. He over there trying to strategize and, and thinking he the, he the head, head honcho. No. I'm being dog. <laughs> it's me. You're the real Know that. <laughs> Stop playing. But, um... Okay, I'm glad we didn't decide on the same woman versus. Yes. Because that would be cheesy. Think like a man. Kill Bill. Uh, and set it off. I mean, it's I obvious that Vivica can play that gritty. 
Gangster. 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 She can kill a nigga if she yeah. got to. Gabrielle, I, she might bust that bitch, but I don't think she gonna kill a nigga. Like, Vivica, <laughs> Vivica was playing with that knife. Like, <laughs> Vivica was trying to shank her. Like, you right. You right. You right. I'm still rocking with you, Gab. You ain't got to. We'll get another. It's another black woman on that list who killing some. There's a few. Yeah. 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 We, you know, if I'm, doing my, if I'm doing an Avengers team of killers. You know, you always need the tech whiz. You need somebody good with technology. You know, you need some logistics. You need you need people who good at different shit. Every time. The vehicle gonna bust. Yeah, she like that. Yeah. She like that. Shout out to the Friday Trilogy. Shout out to John Witherspoon, Ice Cube, Mike Epps, Nia Long, Chris Tucker. Gabrielle um, Union, Vivica A. Fox. Black people. Shout out to Gary, everybody, Gary, honestly. Gary shout out to everybody Gary. black. Ooh, you know, if you're people black, if you come from that beautiful continent of Africa, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> we love you. Black is beautiful. Black is phenomenal. Black is wonderful. Yeah. You ain't lying. I ain't never lying. <laughs> I ain't never tell no lie. You ain't lying. You know, and um, I guess I'll start to close it out. This is Kevin Kevoski, Kevo Dobolowski, the Goopster. Checking in here for the Enjoy the Show podcast produced by the Film Culture. Yes, sir. Brought to you by the Film Culture and forever curated by the Film Culture. Kavoski signing out. Thank y'all very much. Love y'all. See y'all in the next episode. Thank you. Come again. Subscribe to us and make sure you tap in with us, man. I'm out. Peace. And that's a wrap.